This is a super simple exercise that you absolutely must be comfortable with doing if you want to have really precise rhythms. Before we get started, I just want to take a quick moment to say that we're either very close to 200 subscribers or maybe even by the time that this is published have recently passed 200 subscribers on the Quick Start Clarinet YouTube channel. And I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed. I know there's so much stuff out there on the internet uh, and so many different things to do online and offline. Uh, and I really appreciate you taking the few minutes each week to watch my video. Uh, and I really am trying my hardest to give as much clarinet value as I can to you because I love playing the clarinet, I love sharing my knowledge about the clarinet with you, and I really appreciate having people watching this. And I also really appreciate when you like the videos or comment um, and get some of that discussion going so I can see how these things have been helpful in your life. So thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would like. But seriously, thank you so much for giving me your time and attention, and I hope I have been of service to you, giving you my knowledge as well. And if you're one of the approximately 200 subscribers, at the time this is being uploaded at least, then um, I'm sure you know all about how much I like being picky about rhythm and how much I think about rhythm and rhythmic precision. Um, if you don't know, I'll just give a little tiny some synopsis, but I find that rhythm is the single most important thing in terms of playing music. Of course, we need to get the clarinet sound to be great as well, but when it comes to actually playing music, if the rhythm isn't right, then nothing's right. And having great rhythmic precision is the best way to really sound like a professional. So with that being said, I want to get into this simple exercise that will really help you to dial in your rhythmic precision by making sure that you're subdividing every single beat and every single rhythm really precisely. So all we're going to do is practice counting some different subdivisions and practice changing between different subdivisions as we're counting. So the most simple way to do this is to do like a measure of quarter notes, a measure of eighth notes, a measure of triplets, a measure of sixteenths, and then I like to go backwards through that process as well. And there's nothing fancy about it. You can try playing it if you want, but I actually like to just count through it because I can do that anytime, anywhere without my clarinet. So the first step is to get your steady beat going. Ideally, it would be with a metronome, but I'll just snap for demonstration purposes. And then you're just gonna count through that rhythm pattern. So I'll get my steady beat going, and then just count through it. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So that's the basic version of this exercise, and it's really important that you feel really comfortable going between eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, and back and forth, um, because if you can't do that, then you won't be able to do that when you have it in your music. Say you have a measure of something that's like one, two, and three, triplet, four, e, and a one, and two, three something like that that was just a totally made up melody and totally made up rhythm but you can see it's going between eighth notes triplets and sixteenth notes and if i'm not comfortable switching between those subdivisions then it's going to be really tricky to play that rhythm precisely you can do a slightly more complicated version of this exercise as well where you maybe add in uh, quintuplets and sextuplets and maybe even septuplets um, and you can also do it where it's not always just getting faster you can go sort of randomly through whatever subdivisions you like so something that might be like that is doing still a measure of each you could also do maybe even just a beat of each to practice changing even faster which would be even more challenging for now i'll just demonstrate a measure of each sort of of picking random different subdivisions to go to and including some of those faster more complicated ones so again get the steady beat going and then count through one two three four one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one triplet two triplet three triplet four triplet university 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 one and two and three and four and clarinet symposium clarinet symposium clarinet symposium clarinet symposium one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one two three four 
So you may have noticed for my quintuplets, I say university, and yes, for septuplets, I say clarinet symposium, which is super nerdy, but it's seven syllables and it works. If you want a video explaining about how to count those more complicated subdivisions, then leave a comment below because that's a topic for another video. But that concludes this quick tip of this little subdivision exercise that you should be doing like every day or every time you practice or as much as you possibly can because if you aren't super super comfortable moving between these different subdivisions then you'll never be able to play steady rhythms or be confident with rhythms as you're playing your music. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.